Good evening and welcome to Banana Slug News. I'm Navella Janelza. And I'm Betsy Sachs. With spring quarter taking us on a new whirlwind, take this half hour to sit back, relax, and get your fix of your favorite slugs. In our first story, correspondent Ashley Jennings looks at the Telephone Outreach Program, a program that raises around $1 million a year for the school. But beware, working slugs, the Telephone Outreach Program may soon change from a university-run program to a corporate job. For the past 10 years, the Telephone Outreach Program has used student workers to help raise around a million dollars a year for the university, but that may be about to change. Recently, the director of the annual fund, which is the department that runs the Telephone Outreach Program, informed the student employees that as of next year, the program may no longer be a university operation. This year, the program became automated, and a company called Ruffalo Cody provided the university with the software for the computers. Ruffalo Cody is a national bound corporation that uh, focuses on providing what's called automation technology for um, phone drive services. So their main their main customers are universities, really. You know, for things like the telephone outreach program, you know, with automation. It just it does the dialing for you, runs the data for you. It just kind of saves many, it, it creates many shortcuts for for the user. Now, Ruffalo Cody wants to make the telephone outreach program a so-called master site. We allow them to, be, to identify us as a master site. From what I've gathered, they basically have reign over the COP. Uh, I'm sure there's influence from our end, but like, but they have like they control the hiring, they control the wages, they kind of take it in as their own and uh, and do what they will with it. This once high paying campus job would become open to the public, meaning that any person, a student or not student, could call to fundraise for the university. I wonder how the alumni will take the idea of privatizing the call center. Um, I think one of the biggest advantages we have is that we are all students um, and I think that if a private company came in and took over and started hiring people who are not affiliated with the university, there could be some alumni who have problems with that. This would spell the most change for students who have work study. Most of the current workers at the Telephone Outreach Program are work study students. If converted to a master site, work study may no longer apply. Oh, that's, that's the million dollar question. While Ruffalo Cody does offer scholarships to student workers, not many new students are likely to apply for the job as it is off campus and would no longer be listed on the campus jobs website. I kind of don't like the idea of students not having this job. Um, there aren't that many jobs on campus that aren't, um, well, there aren't that many jobs on campus that aren't things like working at the dining halls. Um, and so it's nice if there's a job where you can get actual work experience and get paid more than the minimum wage. And um, it's too bad that there's a possibility that fewer students will have that option. It remains to be seen whether this program, which has made millions of dollars for the university, will turn away from the very people that have helped raise that money for them. This is Ashley Jennings. Back to you. Would you be here? Oh, great. Thanks, Ashley. That makes me so glad that I have a lucrative career at Banana Slug News. Sorry, Novella, but I have to go to GameStop and get my name on the GTA 4 waiting list. Uh, be right back. Um, uh, well, I guess this is a good time for Lonnie Jones to take it away with this week's sports entertainment. Thank you, Novella, and good evening. This week in sports, 2008 Summer Olympics will be held in Beijing, China this August. On its journey around the globe, the Olympic Olympic's torch made its only North American appearance in San Francisco on Wednesday, April 9th. Banana Slug, no, Banana Slug News was there, along with thousands of supporters and protesters of Chinese governmental policies, all trying to catch a glimpse of the torch. Wow, that guy carrying the torch has balls. You know who else has balls? The Boston Celtics. Leading the way with an average 19.8 points per game is Mr. Paul Pierce. When asked how he felt about this feat, Pierce replied, quote, <clears throat> I'm from Oakland, bitch. Suck it. End quote. 
In hockey, the Sharks continue to shred the ice with their current record of 49, 23, and 10, keeping their spot at number one in the Pacific Division. For tonight's NASCAR update, <clears throat> the cars are still going in circles, and the wheels on the cars go round and round. This BSN NASCAR update was brought to you by Walmart. At Walmart, we got us all of that there stuff that you gon' need. Well, that will do it for tonight's sports and entertainment. Oh, look, here goes Betsy.